you must be careful with the signs of your unknown if you use that letter more than once. And that's going to that's going to be the one thing that's going to mess students up. You're you're going to just you're accidentally going to plug in an A here. And if you plug in an A here without doing the minus, you're going to find that your acceleration is not going to be correct. You're going to come down and you could get like an acceleration of like 25 meters a second squared. And you're like, yeah, my acceleration is 25 meters a second squared. You can't get that. You're under the influence. You're under the influence of gravity. If this thing were in free fall, the maximum acceleration you could have was 9.81. If you get something greater than that, you did something wrong. This is not possible. So your accelerations in these problems, if you're under the influence of gravity, had better fall between 0 meters per second squared and 9.81 meters per second squared. If you get anything else other than that, I mean, it could be a minus because of direction, but still, if you set up even the negatives and positives correctly, you should only get the magnitude of acceleration. So it should be between 0 and 9.81. If you get something otherwise, you did not use a sign appropriately. Same thing with tension, although in both of these cases, our tensions are quote unquote positive. Um, but still, be aware, because you used FT twice. Make sure that, oopsie, that that FT has the appropriate sign for the appropriate free body diagram. Okay, same thing over here. So keep that in mind, way important. Now, Again, we don't know FT. This is MVG equals negative MBA. So I just take that negative and kind of put it over there. All right, and distributed it. Um, and now we can plug in what we know number wise FT minus 10.0, 9.81. equals negative 10.0 a. Now, let me write the last line. So this is FT minus 98.1 equals negative 10.0 a. All right, now we are kind of stuck but we have two equations, two unknowns. Unlike the substitution way I, I would, did it in the last set of problems, I'm gonna kind of approach this a little bit of a different way. You can substitute one variable into the other, that's, that's fine. You can see FT is an easy target, right? You can easily substitute FT from one, one, one equation to the other. You can easily solve for FT by itself and then and plug it in uh, to the other equation. Um, I'm gonna do something that's it's pretty much similar and mathematically ends up being the same answer. Um, but uh, before I do that, a word of advice. You're going to get problems that are going to say, hey, solve for tension and solve for acceleration. And uh, with these problems, you don't have to do it in the order in which they ask, right? This could ask for tension, then acceleration. But you might find that you can find acceleration first and then tension. It doesn't matter. So you can do the parts of these uh, problems possibly out of order. So don't think just because, you know, A, B, C are listed doesn't, don't mean, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to do them in that order. Sometimes it's easier to find B than before A. So you have to use your head and, and just um, be aware of that. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to solve for F, <laughs> come on Tapper. I'm going to solve for FT here and I'm going to say, well, that's equal to 20.0. A, oopsie, that's a terrible A. A plus 19.62. And on this equation over here, I'm going to say FT equals negative 10.0A plus 98.1. And then I'm going to do the whole math thing where A equals B, B equals C kind of thing. I'm going to take the two FTs, since FT equals FT, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to set it equal to this. 
because again, they're equal because they're both equal to FT. So I can set this and this equal to each other. It's p basically substituting. I mean, it really is. So, you know, however math wise you want to do it. But I'm going to take 20A, oh, 20.0A plus 19.62 equals negative 10.0A plus 98.1. And then when I do this, I'm going to get 30.0a equals, I'm not going to color code because I'm going to merge these together. So 19 or 20, 20, yeah, I can talk. 98.1 minus the 19.62. So we'll subtract those. Okay. And I'm going to get 78.2. Five, roughly, and I'll take that and divide it by thirty. I get an acceleration of two point six two meters per second squared, and so that acceleration is two point six two meters per second squared. That's downward. Uh, you know that's going to be downward for block um, B, and it's going to be to the right for block A. You know it has to be, but. You know, typically these, these problems ask, what's the magnitude of the acceleration of the system? So all you're doing is finding the, the value, the magnitude, um, and then you're done. And now, of course, we need to find uh, tension. So plug this uh, value into either of the other two formulas, and it should work. I can, oopsie, keep doing that. Um, I can do FT equals 20.0 times 2.0. 62 plus the 19. No, I'll be consistent. Take it all the way home with the color coding. I probably could have dropped it by now, but. And if I solve this, FT equals. Um, Having a great time here. Seventy-two newton, seventy-two point oh two newtons, but seventy point newton. My pencil's gonna die, huh? Um, and then, if of course, if I did the same thing over here, um, And if I solved it, you know, it should be, if everything works out, um, seventy-one point nine. And you know what? Effectively they're the same, right? There's some rounding here, but effectively this and this, you know. So check. They're saying we're good. Okay. Now, that's if you have one object hanging off of uh, you know the side of a table or something like that. The another kind of problem, which is very common, is what we call. Let's see if my pen will make it through this. Is what we call an Atwood's machine. An Atwood's machine is a big pulley, and you have an object hanging on either side and again the string is um, between the two objects and that rope or string is considered fully connected and we're gonna have um, object A and B again so I'm gonna say MA MB and this you know obviously the heavier object does matter because it, it's going to go and move towards the heavier object. The heavier object is going to fall, and the lighter object is going to rise. I mean, that, we're we're not going to be able to stop that. Um, and so the way I originally set it up was MA was was heavier. So so we're going to still say that MA equals 20.0 kilograms, and MB equals 10.0 kilograms. We're going to keep that going, and that means. 
Um, and I should write that. Uh, call it at Woods Machine. Okay. Um, and acceleration then in this particular case definitely going to be down for the heavier object definitely going to be up for the lighter object and they're going to move together right so they're going to move um, uh, simultaneously um, and you know I'm just going to write F oopsie I keep doing that I'm going to write just FT once I'm just going to say what's the tension um, in the cord because the cord or the rope or the string is the same cord just going over this pulley and again these are typically worded that the pulley is massless and frictionless that way we don't have to worry about any of the motion of the pulley in addition to the motion of the objects and again that will oh that's going to change later in the year but um and so you're like well you know it, free body diagram it, it's 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 pretty it's easier so actually i'm going to take these i'm going to move it over here um if i look at the F free body diagram of a um, and the free body diagram of, of object B. Did I capitalize earlier? I did capitalize earlier, even though I didn't capitalize here. So let's, let's just keep it fancy, shall we? You know, their free body diagrams look identical. I mean, you have force due to gravity of A and force tension. Object B has force tension, and F due to gravity to B. And again, this is where we are isolating each object and only doing the forces on each object. And again, there are some teachers and some YouTube videos where they're going to say, hey, you know, take these two objects and, uh, you know, you can take them and you can make them um, all in one line. And you can make them travel together downward, or you can even, there's a way you can put MA first and have MB travel behind. Make it, there's a bunch of way, different ways to reorient these. I am not doing that. And there's reasons why I find that they cause more confusion than they're worth. So what we can do, summation of the forces in the Y equal MA, we're definitely accelerating for this one. And summation of the forces in the Y equal MA for this one. And again, positive FT minus FGA equals, now this one's moving down, it's MA minus A. Again, huge right here. And that's, again, the thing everyone's going to forget. All the students are going to forget that. And that's going to make you have ridiculous accelerations or zero accelerations, or you're going to have this thing moving backwards of some way. So that that use of the appropriate sign for tension and acceleration for each given scenario is way important. Because if I do this here, since this is moving upward, we're going to say this is a positive acceleration. And again, that is huge. So this acceleration is negative. This acceleration is positive. Yes, this tension is positive, And this tension is positive because, you know, they're both pointing upward. That one becomes less of an issue for a lot of students, obviously. Um, but this idea of the accelerations being different signs because you use the same variable is way important. And then, you know, you're going to solve for tension and acceleration. I'm not even going to finish this. You should be able to finish this. You should be able to come up with the acceleration. Again, that acceleration had better be between 0 and 9.81. If you get an acceleration greater than gravity, you messed up. Unless there's some, unless there is some outside force helping this scenario, acceleration should be less than gravitation. Because as this thing, as this thing be, tries to fall, this thing's trying to hold it back because of inertia. So acceleration had better, better be between better be between zero meters per second squared and nine point eight meters per second squared.
I hope that all makes sense and you're going to have some problems to uh, explore it.